Howdy, 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 howdy. It's James, your wonderful host again with the 2D platform gaming tutorial in Unity. This is a series of videos, so if you have not watched the previous parts, I highly recommend you do so or you will be lost. Okay, today's topics are flipping textures for your sprites so they face the correct direction. So far, in our game, we have the first person controller. We have adapted to, to be a 2D game object. We have the main camera, which we've set to orthographic and resized. We have our floor, which is just a shape and cube. We have adjusted our first person controller script and deleted the main camera. We've also applied a plane to the graphics, changed a material shader to transparent, and imported a sprite. Today we are going to be making that sprite flip direction. Okay, now I've already gone ahead and made a scripts folder for organization and made the script for you but we're gonna go over it line by line and I will explain to you how it works. So if we open this up in MonoDevelop, we first start out by setting up a variable named X. This is just a float, it's only there to hold something we can use later. When the game starts, we're going to gather the normal object scale on the X. You'll find out later on why X is important. We're going to set the capital X variable to the transform.localScale.x. So we're taking the game object, the graphics object here, it's X scale, which is right down here, 0 0.2904202, blah blah blah. That's what we're going to assign it to as soon as the game starts. Now why would we want to do that? Because a sprite, a 2D object, which is in our game right here, is only facing one direction to the left. You're saying, oh, well, why don't you just flip it and draw a right one when you press right? Well, because when you have an animated object, and it does jumping, running, falling, all kinds of the actions that it does, swinging a sword, whatever, you don't want to have to make it twice facing the other direction. It takes up a lot of space in your game, and it's pointless. When in code, we can just turn it around. Okay? So that's what we're going to do down here in the function update. So if input.getKeyA, it's commented here. If the gamer pushes the, oh, no, that's not the left arrow key, sorry. The A key. If the player pushes the A key, which is left in the standard WASD format, we're going to take the transform.localScale.x, which is the graphics X, this X right here, and we're going to set it to its normal position. Right here, set texture to normal position. So we're not changing anything here. But we'll get into why that's important. If the player otherwise presses the D key, meaning they want to move right, they push D, we want to flip the texture. So what we do is we say transform.localScale.x equals negative X. That's the difference right here. You don't see a negative, here you do. Okay, this is the part that flips the texture so that your player facing the left faces the right. Once your player starts moving to the right, you may want to go back to the left. And that's where this line comes in. We have to flip it back and forth. That's what these two lines do. Okay, so we can save the script. Go back to Unity, wait for it to finish compiling, doing its code thing, and press play. And we will test if this works. If I press A, he faces left. If I press D, oh look at that! He faces to the right, and I did not have to draw anything different. You'll notice he's still facing the camera, and everything works fine. It even works during jumping. I didn't have to change any of the texture at all. I just have some simple lines of code and it flips the texture. So now that we've got our player and he's running around and facing both directions, what happens if we hold down the A and the D key? 
He's moving to the right, but he's facing left. Right? That's a problem. And we can get into coding then and figuring that all out. But really, if a player is holding down the A and D key at the same time, left and right, complete opposites, he should expect the game not to do something correctly. I'm going to leave it how it is right now. Um, if you think you want to try and fix it, I challenge you to do so. Go ahead. That's my assignment to you in this game project. Try and make it so that it can't move when you're pressing both keys. Shouldn't be too hard, but give it a try. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Next time, we'll be doing an animated texture where we will make our little guy's legs move. Thank you.